right, since you can all hear me, good evening and welcome to the meeting today. And basically, um, what we're gonna look at right now is Binance Dual Investment, okay? What is Binance Dual Investment? How can it be, um, um, you know, beneficial to you? How can you use it? How can you make money with it? We'll look at it. And then at the end of the day, I'll take your questions, okay? So everything I'm going to do here, I'm going to demonstrate. In, uh, I'll be demonstrating everything I'm doing this evening using um, my 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 laptop. Okay, meaning that whatever I'm showing you on the Binance platform will be on the web version of it. Will be on the Binance website. Okay. So um, if at the end of the day you get confused with anything, then I can share my phone screen and show you the same feature. Okay, on how to uh, on how to access it using a phone, but this should be straightforward. Okay, so um, Binance, as we all know, Binance is the most popular exchange when it comes to cryptocurrency. Whether you want to trade, you want to earn passive income on a daily basis, which is why the dual investment I'm going to talk about today is one of those means of earning passive income with Binance. Okay. Is one of those means of earning passive income in, with Binance. In fact, one thing you should note, if I come in here to the Binance website, you see this menu where we have this end, okay? If I click on this end tab or hover over it, you see all of these different ways that are here, there are all different ways you can earn passive income with Binance, okay? Whether you want to do the Binance end, savings, BNB vault, any of these you want to do, there are all different ways of earning passive income with Binance. And all of this way comes with less, um, less risks, or so to say, less risks, okay? So the one we'll be discussing this evening is the dual investment. So what is it? How can, it, um, how can you use it? And how can you make uh, money with it on a weekly, daily, or even a monthly basis, okay? So to assess the dual investment option, we come in here to the end tab, and then you go to the dual investment, okay? So before I click on it and start walking you step by step on how to use Binance Dual Investment, one thing I want to let you know is that Binance Dual Investment, okay, Binance Dual Investment allow you to, in fact, it gives you the chance to buy crypto or sell crypto, okay? You can buy crypto at a lower price or sell crypto at a higher price, but all of these prices are predefined price at a specific date, okay? Please take note of that. The Binance Dual Investment, what it allows you to do is to either buy um, crypto at a lower price or sell crypto at a higher price at a predefined date, all right? A predefined date and a predefined price. That is what it simply means. It means that if you are going into dual investment to the Binance will tell you that in seven days, they are thinking that BNB will be at $300. What is the current price of BNB today? If I scroll down here, okay, BNB right now, as, I, as at the time of having this meeting with you, is at 223. So, what by now, dual investment will say, okay, in seven days from now, BNB could get up to, let's say you want to buy low, according to them, they will tell you it, uh, BNB will get up to $300. So, you can buy at $300. Or BNB could go lower than $200, you can buy at a lower price, okay? They give you that option. Or they tell you you can sell BNB at a higher price of around 300, 300 and something in seven days, 14 days, or, or there about in 21 days to come, okay, from now. Then you not decide to take that bet, all right? And at the end of that date, which they have defined and the price comes, if it hits your target, okay, your, your, your coin will be sold and the money will be returned back to you with interest. That is one beautiful thing with Binance Dual Investment. But if it doesn't hit your target, your BNB will be returned back to you, okay, with interest. So whether it hits your target or it doesn't hit your target, when they return the money to you, it, it is always coming back with interest. It is always coming back with interest, okay? That is one thing I want to I, 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 I want to let you know. Okay, let's say for instance you choose to sell high. Selling high means that you need to have some of this crypto asset. You need to have BNP. You need to have Bitcoin. You need to have Ethereum. You know you need to have Gal. You need to any of this coin that you want to sell that is supported in the Binance Dual Investment Platform. 
okay? If you decide to sell high, all right, it means that you need to have any of these crypto assets. How do you do that? If I go to the end tab, let me go to the finance dual investment, okay? So this is the dual investment page. Just go ahead and uh, you know understand the risks, just the risk warning, just click on I understand. And if I scroll down here, okay, these are all the coins that you can participate on with the dual investment. We have you know, predefined date and prices on the BTC. We have on Ethereum, we have on BNB, we have on Solana, we have on Mati. Um, and normally I trade with this hot pairs, okay? You see this one, you see it is attached here hot. You see this other one hot. You see this other one hot. Either I'm doing BTC, I am doing Ethereum, or I'm doing BNB. These are the ones I, I normally um, just depend on when I'm doing uh, Binance uh, dual investment, okay? You can do for Solana, for Matic, okay? You see other coins that are here, it goes on, okay? You can do for any of that, or just search for the coin here, just type in the coin here, or click on show all. Okay, when you click on show all, it shows you other pairs as well that you can participate in, all right? So you can participate in on any of these and actually use it to, to participate in that, okay? So basically, I just trade on this three here. So let me just scroll down here. Um, let's say I want to do on BTC because this BTC that is highlighted or selected right now. Um, Binance is now telling me that I can sell high my crypto at this specific price. Right now, the current price of BTC is around 19,400, okay? I'm going down, okay? So um, the APY that I'm gonna get if I participate in this is about 79.33%, okay? And the settlement date is when? This is gonna be on the 15th of July. 15th of July is, uh, this is uh, three days from now, thereabout, okay? So three days from now, if I believe that Bitcoin will go up uh, by 20,000, by will go up to $20,000 um, or thereabout, I can go and subscribe to this. And three days from now, I can sell high, okay? I can sell high and then get interest on it as the money is returning back to me. Now, this can, the strategy that I use right now is that I can buy Bitcoin. Those of you, this one is not a, a good advice. This is not an advice for so those of you who bought Bitcoin at 30,000, 40,000, 60,000. You don't use that amount, that Bitcoin you bought at that price to participate in this dual investment, okay? The current price of Bitcoin right now is at 19,000. I can buy at 19,400. And if I sell at 20,000, okay, let's say I buy one Bitcoin or two Bitcoin. That is additional, in three days from now, that is additional 600 per Bitcoin. So if you participate in this with two Bitcoin, three Bitcoin, at the end of the day, not just that, but you are getting this interest, okay? You are getting this interest at the end of the day. This is the API you are supposed to get, and the settlement date will be on the 20th. Okay? You can decide to sell uh, for 20,500, and the API you get is this. Okay? So the settlement date of this is equal on the 15th, right? Yes, on the 15th of this month. Okay? So almost everything you have, all of these ones are 15, then these ones are 22nd, 22nd, and it goes on. Okay? So you can decide the higher the price, the lower the, the, the API you are going to get, okay? The higher the price, the lower the API you are going to get. But this API will pay you more if you are getting involved on the Binance Dual Investment with a higher price, okay? So briefly before we go into details, if you decide to sell high, okay, to sell high your crypto, okay? And then you've chosen the date you want to sell your crypto. I've told you already that if, I, I'm, if I'm to participate in this, I'll buy crypto with the current price, okay, at 19,000 plus right now, and then decide to go with this. If I'm selling high on this predefined date, okay, at this exact price, this, this will be three days from now, okay? So what it simply means, if I go ahead and subscribe on this, since I want to sell high, on the settlement date, if the market price is above the target price, the target price being this $20,000, okay? If the market price is above the target price, the order is filled. So it, it means that Bitcoin has to be around 20,000 or above, okay? For this target to be filled, it has to be uh, around 20,000 and above for my order to be filled. So when my order is filled, I will get, you know, the subscribed amount, okay? Will be sold at that target price, 
Okay, even if Bitcoin gets up to 21,000 in two days, my um, agreement with Binance is that I want to sell at 20,000. So it will be sold at this 20,000. Okay, when it is sold at this 20,000, they will say about the equivalent of what I want to sell is that money will be returned back to me in BUSD. It means that I've sold high. So the money will be returned back to me in BUSD. But another thing is that if the price, not just will it be returned to me in BUSD, it will be returned to me in BUSD plus interest. And that interest will be this amount of APY, okay? The amount of APY divided by the number of days you were able to participate in this um, dual investment program, okay? But if on the settlement date, the price is lower, okay? If the price is lower than 20,000, my Bitcoin will not be sold, okay? I will receive back that Bitcoin I participated with back to my wallet plus interest and that interest all falls back to the APY that you are going to receive, all right? I don't know if you understand this. So basically that is why I say there is less risk involved when you are going into dual investment, okay? So that is what it means. Then if I decide to buy low, if I decide to buy low, it means that I am going into it with, um, what is it called? I am going into it with either USDT or what? BUSD, okay? So if I go here and click on the buy low option, when I click on the buy low, it gives me all of these different options, okay? Buy low means that I need to have USDT or BUSD, okay? I can buy low with USDT on this tab or select buy low with BUSD. Whatever coin you have, that is what you're going to participate with. Now, if I believe that Bitcoin will continue to go down to 18,000 um, in, in three days from now, okay, three days from now, I can participate in this Binance dual investment to buy, okay? If it will go down to 17, I can participate, okay? This is equal on the 15. If it will go down to 18,500, uh, on the 22nd, I can participate in this. Now, what this means is that if I participate with my BUSD or USDT because I want to buy low, if on the settlement date, Bitcoin gets to 18,000 or lower, okay, my order will be filled and I will receive Bitcoin back with interest, okay? In this case, the interest will not be what you have chosen. If it is the 23% APY you want, if it is 5%, if it's the 60% APY, any of this you want, 40% and the rest, you go ahead and participate in it, okay? So on that day, if Bitcoin gets to 18,000 or even lower, your order will be filled and then you receive Bitcoin worth that amount of money you participated in, okay? And then plus the interest that comes with that and that interest falls back to this, all right? So uh, in both ways, you are not actually losing, rather you are gaining from participating in the Binance Dual Investment, okay? whether it is it hits your target or not, you are actually gaining in it, okay? But the risk that, it get, uh, that is involved with Binance Dual Investment is that the, if you want to buy low, there is every probability that on the 15th of July, if you have decided to buy Bitcoin at 18,000, there is every probability that on the 18th of, um, 15th of July, Bitcoin could go lower than the 18,000. If it goes lower than the 18,000, since you have agreed already and entered the contract with Binance, Binance will sell and give you the equivalent of what you want to buy at 18,000. Even if Bitcoin gets down to $1,000 or thereabout, it is this 18,000 that they are going to calculate the price with, okay? So this is like a risk, or some persons call it risk, but I don't see it as a risk. If I decided to buy Bitcoin at 18,000, let's say I'm using dollar cost average, and I decide to buy Bitcoin at 18,000, it is to your own advantage because at the end of the day, you're not just buying, but you're getting interest back, all right? Then if it goes down to 17 or thereabout, but if it doesn't get to 18,000 or lower, then your order will not be filled. Your BUSD or your USDT that you participated with will be returned to you with interest, okay? And that interest falls back to this, all right? So how do you participate? How do you go about subscribing um, to the Binance Dual Investment? I like doing more of BNB, so to say. So if I go ahead and click on BNB, I can decide to sell high, okay? If I want to sell high, I, 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 now the current price of BNB, what is the current price of BNB right now? Okay, so the current price of BNB right now is 22. You can see that here, 
okay, the current price is 22, um, $222, okay? So that is the current price. If I decide to participate in this, for instance, okay, all I just need to do is to choose a date. This is on the 15th, this is on the 15th, this is on the 15th. This one ha have a higher return, okay? And this is 20, um, 225, this is 230, this is 235 or thereabout. Okay, I can decide to participate in any of these. Um, how much should I sell this? 225. Okay, 225. Yeah, normally I look at the percentage. If I buy Bitcoin at 220 and in three days I sell at 225, that, uh, sorry, BNB, if I buy at 222 and I sell in three days at 225, means that I have made $3 per one BNB. You can imagine if I buy 100 of this BNB, okay, $3 by 100. Okay, that will give you the amount of money you have received. And then plus the interest you are going to receive, which is this 77 APY, okay? The 77 APY is what I'm looking at, okay? Um, I can look at it. Oh, it has a higher return. It has a higher return. I have 211 APY here. <laughs> okay, the current price is um, 1,039, okay? And then 1,039, then um, this one that has a higher API is around 1,050. 1,050, I can decide to go for this. I can buy at 39 and sell at 50. Selling at 50 means that I'm making around, um, is it 19? $19 per um, Ethereum, okay? So if I buy two Ethereum, that means in three days, I'm making 19 per each. If I buy three, 10 or there about, I'm making $19 per each of those token when it is sold at this price, okay? So I can decide to go with this, but let me just go with the BNB because um, I think I have some BNB um, that I got. So I'll go with BNB and I'll go with this first price here. So I just go ahead and click on subscribe, okay? When I click on subscribe, this is where it brings me to. Now, you have to select the BNB. I have some BNB here. So I want to sell higher, just click on max. I can put BNB here now. Another thing you should note is the limit at which you want to participate with. The minimum you can participate with, if you are doing selling high, with the BNB, it is 0 0.001, okay? And the maximum is 20,000 BNB, all right? The maximum is 20,000 BNB, all right? So if I click on this max, all right? Once I click on max, the API we are going to receive is this, okay? And then we are participating in this, all right? So, what um what binance is letting me know here is that okay this is everything has been explained here okay the scenario is based on the settlement price all right and that settlement price the one i participated in is on the 20 uh, the two, two 225 dollars okay if the price what binance is saying is that if the price is at 225 on the settlement date, all above 225, okay? I am going to receive this amount, all right? This is the amount I am going to receive right on the settlement date, if it is at this price, with the 0 0.09 uh, BNB that I'm participating with. This is the amount I'm going to receive. This is plus the interest, okay? The interest has been calculated and added here already, okay? Then if it is below this, if it is below this, what am I going to receive? I'm going to receive back my BNB plus interest. Remember, I entered with 0 0.09, and here I'm going to receive 0 0.0905, okay? So it is assumed that the remaining figure you're seeing here is the interest. Um, let me put a higher amount here so that you get what I'm saying. Let's say I put in 20 BNB, okay, to tell me my balance is low. So if I put in 20 BNB, it means that on the settlement day, three days from now, if the price is below this, because I want to sell high, if the price is below 225, which I have opted for to sell in three days from now, I'm going to receive 20.12 BNB. So the 0.12 here is my interest. But if it is above that, okay, I am going to receive um, this 20 BNB should be around $4,000. Okay, so it means that the $500 you are receiving is the interest that you are receiving for, for that day. Okay, the interest you are receiving for that day becomes this other one that you are receiving. Okay, so basically that is what you are going to receive. And if you are okay with it, 
all you just need to do, if I click on the marks again, I click on the marks, I just go ahead and click on next. And there is a new feature that Binance added on the Binance dual, dual investment, meaning that I can participate on this Binance dual investment and everything will be automated. You'll be selling, buying, selling, buying, and you'll be making this interest on a daily basis. And that is the auto compound fee option. It wasn't here before, it has just been added, okay? The auto compound option here, as it is described there, enables you to automatically reinvest your investment amount, okay? And yield into a new product at the settlement date to earn additional reward. So when this end in three days, automatically it enters again, okay? Automatically it enters again. Now on the auto uh, compound option, you have the take, um, the basic plan, and then you have the advanced plan, okay? The basic plan simply does, what it does is that the auto compound with a new target price until the price is reached, okay? Then the advanced plan will allow you to do, if the target price is not reached, the auto compound, um, it auto compound to a different direction, okay? And if the price is reached, it, it subscribe again to another direction for you, just like that. So you have the advanced plan and then the uh, basic plan. So you can decide to do this. If I check this on, I go ahead and click on next step. Okay. Once I click on next step, all I just need to do is check all of this that I understand. Okay. Once I understand all of this, okay, I'll go ahead and subscribe to this. So with the auto plan selected, automatically Binance will just be automatically um, subscribing to this. When it sells, it's my target price. It means that um, it's going to buy low for me. Okay. When it buys low and it hit my target price, it means that the next option is going to sell low for me. So you can put in money here to play around with um, what is currently going on. And this auto invest plan for me, it will work when we are in a bullish trend, okay? Because at the end of the day, you may end up selling um, higher. When you sell high, you can buy low, yes. But if you buy, if you buy low, there is every probability that the next week, the dual investment option will change. You may end up selling lower. So you want to make sure that you always monitor this because once you do the auto invest, you can you can stop it. But once it subscribe to this week, okay, let's say it has subscribed already, you wait until that one that it has subscribed to ends before you can go ahead and stop the auto invest, and it continues to make you profit. So I have personally told myself that the auto invest will be used when I am in a bullish trend because if I sell Bitcoin at two hundred today, there is every probability that in next week it will be three hundred. In next, it will be 400 and it continues like that, okay? So you can use the auto invest option, auto compound option to start making money on the Binance dual investment option, all right? So basically that is all I have to, to, to explain to you about Binance dual investment. It is a good strategy. This is good for beginners. You don't need to really know anything. All you just need to know is all of this step I've showed you, how you can subscribe, okay? Subscribe to a particular coin, go ahead and click on next, 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 and you go ahead. If you want the auto compound option, you go ahead and check it and you are good to go. All right. So this is where I will leave it and I will allow you now to ask questions. If there is anything you don't understand in everything that I've explained, okay, you can ask questions as regards um, the Binance um, dual investment option, then I will provide answers to that. Okay. So you can unmute yourself and make your input. Hello, sir. Yes, good evening, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Okay, sir, my question is, what is the, the price? When we are te uh, telling us about the price, the 20,000 uh, BTC has a lower uh, APY than the 20,500. Okay, let me go back to BTC. Twenty thousand has a higher APY than the twenty thousand five hundred, and I explained yes, that the the higher the price, the settlement date price. Okay, the higher the settlement date price, the lower the APY. You understand? For instance, this is twenty thousand. You have seventy-seven. Okay, um, yes. seventy-seven point seven four APY. The 20,500 has 33.36 APY. The 21,000 has even a lower APY. So the lower 
the price, the, the higher the price, the lower the APY. Then the further the date, the higher the APY as well. Okay, this is on the 15, this is on the 15, this is on the 15, this is on the 15. This one, 20,000 settlement date is on the 20th, 22nd, sorry, on the 22nd. So because the date is further, which is around, um, this should be two weeks or thereabout, it has a higher APY, okay? It has a higher APY. I've not done anything above one week, okay? I've been doing between three days, you know, to seven days, depending on when you are joining, when you are subscribing to the APY. So this one that we settled in three days, I'm always doing this. I have, the highest I've gone is one week, okay? So the highest okay. I've gone to this is one week. So you just choose, and I always go with the first option. And I've told you my own personal strategy here is that right now, if I want to participate in this, I want to sell Bitcoin in three days at 20,000. It means that I am buying Bitcoin at the current price of 19,000. If I buy it at 19,000, I am not only making interest from, I'm not only making profit from the interest that Binance is going to pay me on the settlement date, but I'm equally making interest from this price right here. Because if I buy at 19,400 and I sell at 20,000, I've made a like, additional $500 as profit. Then you can imagine if I participate in this dual investment with two, three, four, or 10 or 20 Bitcoin, okay? I am receiving and um, I'm going to be receiving um, interest on that, okay? So if I go ahead, let me just show you that. If I go ahead and click on the 20,000, if I go ahead and click on subscribe to this, okay? So once yes. I click on subscribe to this, I can go ahead and say, okay, I want to subscribe with 20 Bitcoin. Or let me say five Bitcoin. So five Bitcoin. Okay. Five Bitcoin at 20,000 each will be around 100,000, right? Yes. yes, it will be around 100,000. Okay. So if the price of 25 Bitcoin, now buying this five Bitcoin at 19,400 would be around, um, um, how much would that 80, be? 80,000. Say again. 80,600, I think. No, no, five Bitcoin at 19,000. If you buy five Bitcoin at 19,000, how much is that going to be? Let okay. me do, um, let's say. 19,000 multiplied by five. Okay. 95,000. 95,000, right? All right. So. Yes. Okay, so since it is 95,000, okay, in three yes. days from now, that 95,000 will be giving us 100,000. And not yes. just will they be giving enough. us 100,000, the profit we are going to receive because the API is even increased to 85, the profit we are going to be receiving is around 600, 600 and almost $700. Okay, so this is an yes. interest you are going to receive. And this can only happen if the price of Bitcoin is exactly at 20,000 or above 20,000. Uh, uh, so I have yes. made additional 5,000 plus the interest that Binance is paying me, which is 600 or in this case, 700, okay? That is 900. If it doesn't hit, if it doesn't hit 20,000, if it doesn't hit 20,000, if the price is below 20,000, my five Bitcoin will be returned to me plus the interest. In this case, the interest now is 0 0.03. So I can even sell this 0 0.03 and gain, get, get profit from it. So you see that your Bitcoin, instead of just having five Bitcoin, you're now having 5.03 Bitcoin, okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. so basically that is it. So you just participate at the end of the day, you're not just receiving interest, but you're equally making profit from what you are participating in. Okay. Yes. So that that is to say, even if the API is smaller and the price is higher, the interest you are making, is going to be higher as well. Exactly. Uh, another one, okay, we deal with the 77, right? Uh, based on your question, yes. if I do with the 13, 33%, which is lower, right? Yes. If I do with 33%, okay, and we go ahead and subscribe for the same five Bitcoin, which would have cost us 95,000 today, if we buy today. Yes. Okay, so the API we're yes. going to receive is around 36. So we're going to be receiving 0 0.01, okay? In that case, yes. that 0 0.01 should be, um, I think it should be this $700 or thereabout or so. Okay, so 0 0.01 is what we're going to receive if we sell at 20,100. So in this case, 100. what costs us 95,000 to buy? You're not selling it at 
102,000, okay? That is additional 7,000 profit or thereabout, okay? But if it is below, we are going to receive this 0 0.014. So we are now having five Bitcoin plus 0 0.014 as, as profit. So in both way, whether it hits your target or not, you are still receiving interest <laughs> participating interest. with equal investment, yes. So how do they get the interest that are giving you if, if your author is not filled? Binance uses all of this money in one way or the other that you're investing to equally uh, make a lot of money for themselves. So you are more or less like a liquidity provider when you come in here on the Binance Dual Investment. You are providing liquidity. So providing liquidity oh. in that three days, Binance would have used your money to transact a lot. Okay. When yes. they have transacted a lot, they would have made money even more than what they are giving you. That is why they are able to give you those percentage. So at the end of the day, your money would have made money for them. Your crypto would have made money for them and they give you your interest back. Okay. Yes. It's like you are loaning your coin to them. Exactly, to them. And then they do business with it. And at the end of the day, whatever, if it hits your favor, you still get interest. If it doesn't sell at what you wanted to sell, you still get interest. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. How do you sign up for dual investment? I'll post a link, okay? I'll post a link on the group, um, on the chat that you can go ahead and subscribe to. If you want to subscribe for dual investment, I'll just post the link on the chat. You can go ahead and sign up for the Binance um, account and then just go ahead and do the dual investment, okay? Like I've signed on to this dual feature, dual investment chain on my desk, on my laptop. But how do I find it on my on my cell phone on the app, let me see, do I, if I've signed, is it on the, um, is it on the home or Mac wallet or futures or trades? How do I find, how do I find where it is on my phone? If I want to like try to trade on my phone. Okay, let me, let me share my screen. I've signed up, I've signed up on my laptop. I'm actually connected to my laptop so I can see it, but, uh, I'm trying to see how I can get to it on my phone. Okay, yeah. so I'm sharing my screen now so that you be able to mm. follow up. Finance. Okay, so if you can see my screen, then all you just need to do, you see the end tab here. Okay, this is the end tab. Okay, and okay, yeah. So it's under home. Okay, so. Yes, so you just mm. click on the end. Once you click on the end, you will see dual investment here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I've clicked on end tab now. Yeah, dual investment, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's good because I want to try and play around with it and see. So basically, one should just go with the first one, right? Just go with the first one. and. Uh, it all depends, okay? You can decide to go. Now, what I do normally is BTC, Ethereum, yeah, BNB. It's B is BTC, those are the three that I also want to look at. Uh -huh. So I've not done these other ones. So these are just the ones I've been participating in. No, those are the, those are the most important ones. <laughs> it's a, yeah. I'll probably just do BTC. It's just to play around and see what one is getting rather than just uh, like I have some small BTC, small money. So maybe just convert it and play around and see what happens. It's all right, sir. It's all right. Yuna, thank you so much. Eh? All right. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. I'm going to sign off. Thank you. God bless.